All right, what's up guys? Another video through another install. I am installing, oops, that's upside down, the uh, Perrin Brake Reservoir uh, cover. I mean, you don't really need a whole, I mean, I'm gonna do a whole video on it, but um, I guess I'll explain what it does and why I'm installing it. Um, this is the Brake Reservoir cover. Um, it literally, this is the Brake Reservoir right here where it holds your brake, brake fluid. Uh, so if anything, um, if any brake fluid were to leak or, or you were filling it or something, uh, brake, brake, uh, brake fluid is very, it'll eat through anything. So, um, having this there just in case, uh, is definitely something good to have, you know, cause if you, if, if that, if that reservoir leaks and it gets onto the paint and it, you don't know it, it literally will eat right through uh, metal. Um, so it's definitely cool to have. This is really cheap. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're getting, you know, a bunch of parts from Perrin or even if you're getting other other parts or something and just throw this in your shopping cart. It's really cheap and, uh, you know, it can basically save your whole entire engine bay. So, um, it obviously there's no instructions for this. It's literally, it's literally just a sponge pretty much. Well, yeah, that's what it is. Um, and you literally just wrap it around. I don't really need to explain. I just put the strut bar on, so it's a little hard to pop this around, but. Figures, just installed the strut bar in my last video, which was, you know, 10 minutes ago in real time. And now I can't get my hands back there, but, but yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, it's kind of silly to do an entire video on that, but um, like I said, you know, I'm doing each video to kind of explain each part and why do I have it. Um, and, you know, this is really, it's so cheap that why not? Um, you know, so if you were, <coughs> you were filming this or some, some reason this cracked or something, it started leaking, this would leak out and absorb into this as opposed to just dropping down your engine bay. Um, you know, you got some uh, important wires there, you got fuel lines right here. Uh, you definitely don't want any of that leaking onto your um, into your engine bay. So let's get a little bit closer. Look so you can kind of see a little better. Um, sorry. So you just wrap it around there, and it's pretty pretty straightforward. It's kind of hard to see, but um, cool little mod. And I definitely uh, recommend it if you're getting buying some parts and uh, you're just looking to get something uh, for a little added protection in your engine bay. Um, fits great, obviously. There's no, it's not bunched up anywhere. It, it fit nice and snug around there, so it's definitely not going anywhere. Um, and it's got a little cool parent, parent logo there, so you can't mistake for what brand it is. Um, kind of see it there. But uh, I'll probably straighten it out a little bit, so um, you can kind of read it a little better. But yeah, that's the install. If you guys have any questions, just let me know.